uh, okay uh, welcome all again uh, we will uh, continue from the point we uh, left off last time uh, we stated this theorem uh, this proposition given a real number x for it for each positive integer and we can find a rational number rn so that it satisfies this uh, rn uh, is nothing but the you know and decimal expansion of the real number x uh, for example if let's say x is this real number then r1 is this r1 is this r2 is this and r3 is this one so each time you take one more digit okay and the proof is as follows okay so uh, we let a0 to be the uh, integer part of uh, n for example for the above uh, above uh, real number x so this a0 will be what a0 will be just uh, 17 right 17 uh, then of course uh, this a n uh, satisfies the following a0 will be less than x and less than a0 plus 1 this is true for any real number right if you have a real number then its greatest integer part is less than or equal to that number but the greatest integer part plus 1 is always larger than that number now subtracting x0 from both sides we get all sides we get 0 x0 minus a0 and 1 and uh, multiplying this by 10 we get this 10x minus 10 a0 less than 10 now let <clears throat> a1 to be the greatest integer part of this number sorry this number for example for this number it will be just what it will be just uh, r1 no a1 is just uh, so 10 times uh, x minus 10 times uh, this so uh, three point something. Uh, so this is just three. Yes. And we let uh, R one R one to be a zero plus a one over ten. Okay. So r1 becomes uh, 17 plus 3 over 10 so 17.3 okay and we'll continue like this uh, similarly uh, let a n to be this integer where r n minus 1 is this so a0 plus a1 over 10 a2 over 10 to the power 2 and so on up to a n minus 1 divided by 10 to the power n minus 1 and we set r n to be just uh, R n minus one plus A n divided by ten to the power n. So this is just let me rewrite. Uh, up A n divided by ten to the power n. Okay. All right. Uh, then clearly 
then uh, clearly we have this r n minus one is less than r n because you know r n is just r n minus one plus something uh, positive. All right. Okay. Well, we claim that this Rn satisfies uh, the uh, property we stated in the proposition. So proof uh, will be by induction on N. Let's do the proof. Uh, N equals one case. So in this case, A1 was 10x minus 10A0 by definition. But, you know, this is, of course, less than or equal to 10x minus 10A0. Uh, and, of course, you know, this is the real part of this number, uh, right? So this is the real part of this number. Therefore, 1 plus the integer part, not the real part, uh, integer part of this real number plus 1 will be larger than this. So A1 plus 1, right? Okay. Uh... All right, let's just add 10A0 to all sides. So I get A1 plus 10A0 less than or equal to 10X. And this is less than 10A0 plus A1 plus 1. And then divide by 10 and we get A0 plus a1 over 10 less than x and less than uh, a0 plus a1 over 10 plus 1 over uh, 10 but you see this thing is just uh, r1 is less than x and less than r1 plus 10 to the power 1 so this finishes the proof for n equals 1. Uh, so this uh, finishes the proof for n equals 1. Now assume the result. The result for n equals k so we assume this uh, r k is less than x and less than r k plus 1 over 10 to the power k and we will have to sh uh, we must prove this must prove the result result for n equals k plus 1. So we have to prove this. rk plus 1 is less than x and less than rk plus 1 plus 1 over 10 to the power k plus 1. So we must prove this. Well, how we will do this? Now, What is a k plus 1? By definition, this is 10 to the power k plus 1 x minus 10 to the power k plus 1 r k plus 1. No, r k, sorry, r k. Okay, uh, so we have this. 
Uh, hence, we have this. AK plus 1 is less than or equal to this number because AK plus 1 is the greatest integer, integer part of this. And of course, this is less than the greatest integer part plus 1. All right. As above, let's just add this number to both sides. So we get uh, AK plus 1 plus 10 to the power k plus 1 rk is less than 10 to the power k plus 1 x and less than uh, 10 to the power k plus 1 plus a k plus 1 uh, so sorry uh, I have rk plus a k plus 1 plus 1 right I added just this number to uh, all sides and then divide by 10 to the power k plus 1 so we will get rk plus a k plus 1 divided by 10 to the power k plus 1 is less than x and this is less than uh, rk plus ak plus 1 divided by 10 to the power k plus 1 plus 1 over 10 to the power k plus 1 but this is by definition just uh, rk plus 1 and it is less than x and strictly less than uh, this is just rk plus 1 plus 1 over 10 to the power k plus 1. And uh, the proof uh, finishes. Okay. Now uh, we have so-called the density theorem. Okay. An immediate consequence of this theorem, this result. So density theorem of uh, real numbers. Or rational numbers. Here is the statement. If A and B are just real numbers with A less than B, then there is some rational number R with uh, a less than r less than b so that's the result here is the proof well uh, since a is less than b we have b minus a positive okay uh, by the Archimedean property, uh, or since uh, you know uh, the set of natural numbers is unbounded, there is some n positive natural num <coughs> uh, positive integer, so that so that n is greater than 1 over b minus a well uh, clearly 10 to the power n is greater than n and this is greater than this right well you can prove this by induction actually i guess that wouldn't be 
difficult, so I'll leave it to you. Uh, then we have this. Okay. Uh, now, by the previous proposition, Uh, there is uh, there is a sequence uh, or there is uh, some R n so that so that R n is less than a and this is less than R n plus 10 to the power n. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I should say uh, there is a sequence. Or I should say there is a sequence for uh, x equals a. Uh, uh, the sequence, let's say, uh, R K. RK so that so that RK satisfies this uh, RK is less than A and less than RK plus 10 to the power K yes now in particular uh, this is true for all K all K uh, it is it will be true for this n for this particular n maybe i choose this make this n zero okay in particular okay now let okay r to be this real number uh, r n zero plus n to the power n zero. Okay. I picked the n zero term of this sequence. Okay. Uh, then we have what? Uh, first of all, you know. Uh, A is strictly less than R because it is less, less than all these terms. It, it, it is less than this one, so therefore it is less than R. And and uh, ten to the power and zero is larger than one minus b minus a. And this implies b minus a is less than 1 over 10 to the power n0. And therefore, and thus, thus, uh, b is larger than a plus this gadget. But this is less than or equal to, uh, this is less than, say, greater than uh, Rn, uh, and then Rn0 plus uh, this number, right? A is larger than this. Yes, but this is just uh, R. So we get this. A is less than R 
but r is less than b as desired and the proof finishes okay so uh, i'll leave this I leave this uh, as an exercise. You can prove this by induction. Prove that <clears throat> 10 to the power n is larger than n uh, for all for all n. Okay. all right why this is called density theorem it is because of the following well you see this is the real number uh, the set of real numbers i choose any two real numbers and the about theorem tells me that there is always some uh, rational number in between uh, a and b okay uh, therefore, rational numbers are uh, everywhere. Every interval of real numbers uh, contains a rational number. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we uh, rephrase. this uh, theorem uh, as uh, okay this theorem uh, by saying that as follows the set of rationals is dense in the set of uh, real numbers okay all right uh, Another important function for real numbers is the absolute value function. Let me also talk about that. Absolute value function. So absolute value is defined from reals and it takes values in the gain set of real numbers, actually positive real numbers and zero. And it is defined as follows. Absolute value of any real number is just x if this number is non-negative. And it is minus f or minus x if it is negative. Okay. <clears throat> Recall some uh, properties of this function. Let's recall some of them. First one is absolute value of x is the same as absolute value of uh, minus x. The second one is absolute value of the product of two real numbers is the product of the absolute values. The most important is this one, the <clears throat> triangle inequality. And the fourth one, 
is this <clears throat> uh, difference absolute value of the difference of the absolute values is less than the absolute value of the difference and all these inequalities or equal equalities uh, they hold uh, for all x and y okay <laughs> i will leave the three uh, first three of them as an exercise for you for the last one let me just uh, do it uh, the last one so uh, proof of four all right we proceed as follows absolute value of x is nothing but the absolute value of x minus y uh, plus y but if i apply the triangle inequality to this uh, sum i get this <clears throat> and taking this to the other side we get absolute value of x minus absolute value of y is less than x minus y in absolute value and then we do the following just replace in the alphabet the places of x and y uh, so we get similarly right y minus x is less than y minus x but this is just x minus y <coughs> by the first property so we have this hence hence both this real number and its negative which is this one are less than less than or equal uh, to this uh, therefore therefore the absolute value of this real number which is equal to either this one or this one but both of them are less than this therefore this absolute value is less than this absolute value okay and this finishes the proof okay uh, I'll finish with a exercise for you so uh, prove by induction that for any uh, for any uh, real numbers x1 x2 xn we have the following inequality the absolute value of the sum of n real numbers is the is less than or equal to <coughs> sum of their absolute values okay well i think uh, I'll stop here for today. So next time uh, we will uh, start from this point. See you then.